Hello everyone. You are listening to this audiobook on channel Voice of Purpose by NSS IIT Bombay. Anju Bobby George, a name many of us have heard, but what do we know about her? Anju was born on 19 April 1977 to a Syrian Orthodox family in Kottayam, Kerala. Her father instigated her interest in athletics and her school coach encouraged her further. Her talent was noticed in the national school games where she won third place in 100 meter hurdles and 400 meters relay. Thus her journey as a national athlete began. She created history just like PV Sindhu, Saina Nehwal and many others by winning bronze in the world championship in athletics in 2003. The same competition where the legendary Mike Powell set the world record for the longest jump in 1991. She was the first and only Indian athlete to win a medal at the World Championships in athletics. She holds a personal best record of 6.83 meters which is the current Indian national record. She also won gold at the 2005 World Athletics Final, the 2002 Asian Games in Busan, and the 2005 Asian Championships in Incheon. She received the prestigious Arjuna Award in 2002, the country's highest sporting honor, Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award in 2003, and the Padma Shri in 2004. She was once ranked world number four in the International Association of Athletics Federation rankings. But do we know how much she struggled behind curtains to make all these possible? She did all of that on a dead takeoff leg. In December 2020, 17 years after the celebrated bronze in 2003, Anju made a staggering revelation. When I was 17 years old, I injured my takeoff leg. For an athlete, even a small thing is a setback. We have to be at the peak of our performance always. I did not get any proper treatment or rehab for that. I was not even able to walk. It was so painful and I lost almost a year. Once I started walking, my ankle would roll inwards. I started jogging with a heavily taped ankle and then slowly I got back to training. It was very painful. I struggled with that ankle. As long jumpers, we need to get a reaction from that ankle and I wasn't getting that. The doctors were not able to identify what the problem was. I had a fracture which was treated, but after that they were not able to figure out why I was getting constant pain, Anju said. During competitions, she just had to bear the pain as she discovered she was allergic to painkillers. Right before the World Athletics Championships in Paris 2003, Anju found out about her having renal agenesis. a rare condition where the person has a single kidney doctors said i would be fine during normal life but if i strain myself physically the body's reaction could change because if there was a strain there was fatigue and it would take longer for me to recover if i didn't recover properly it would also affect my performance when fatigue set in i would find it difficult to even walk on some days She had to monitor her water intake to prevent dehydration constantly. Keep a close watch on protein consumption, plan staggered training sessions to allow more recovery time, and avoid strong painkillers. She had to take all these precautions while competing with one kidney. For everyone, I was a perfect athlete so far, but now they know that was never the case. So if I can achieve what I did in my career with my limitations, I believe someone else can take inspiration from my story and push themselves further, Anju said. Though she faced problems at the peak of her career that no athlete should never, she pulled through with flying colors. Voice for Purpose also hopes that next time you feel discouraged by the mountain of problems in front of you, Anju's story gives you the strength to move forward despite your setbacks. Thank you. Have a nice day. So hope you guys had fun. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel for more interesting audiobooks.